Hey traders, in this video we're going to talk about what uh, the trade uh, zones did today and also do a outlook for tomorrow what I expect uh, with the market. So if you guys like this, uh, let me know down below in the uh, comments, but let's jump right into it. But first, ma make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe to the video, but let's jump right into it. So this morning in my uh, Discord chat room, um, essentially, I said uh, these were the trade levels. Um, we have a new uh, weekly open gap here. We have 15-minute and a 5-minute VPOC. Just so you guys understand what those VPOCs are, they are essentially this. So the 5-minute VPOC, if you ever see that on the chart, is just from this chart. So right here we had the 5-minute um, VPOC right here at the 51... Uh, sorry, 40, uh, 41.50, level, uh, right around there, right? We saw, came right to it, then we bounced. The other one is uh, the 15-minute, if you see 15-minute VPOC, it's essentially this, right? Any uh, naked VPOC, and we could see this was it. Price came down, touched it. So now, with price being up here where we closed, this is now the naked VPOC and this one actually got touched and it's no longer valid. So uh, that's what those, um, if you ever see them on the chart, represent. Um, about uh, maybe about six minutes after the open, I said, hey, watch for these. I added these trade zones because I want to see where the market uh, actually opened because I did this um, chart at 6.13 in the morning, right? Um, but I kind of want to see what the market does if we kind of chopped around, which we were doing. So I really like this uh, level down here and then this level up above. Well, what happens? Look at this. I have my pending order in uh, right here and price came literally one tick away. Missed it by a tick. So, um, and then we bounced and these are what the outcomes were, right? Here's a one chart and then you could have ran six points and i was looking for about two points worth of risk for a couple points of target um and that's all i did there was literally nothing else uh that i really liked except for one other trade which i'm going to show you guys which i actually took on my own I just want to take a quick second out of this video to let you know about my all-in-one package for the S&P E-Mini Futures that's only a one-time payment of $99. You'll receive S&P E-Mini Weekly Trade Zones, my top five trading strategy video course of strategies I use every day in my own trading, and now you'll get access to my private discord chat room where i give daily trade zones for the s p and also trade setups so if you want to learn more go to daytrainfearless.com or click the link down below but back to the video um remember i'm not going to do sometimes things happen too quick i don't have time to do everything right but one of the things um the trade that I took was this trade right here. As we were falling, we actually had divergence. I actually just did a video this morning, uh, or it got released this morning, on the same exact trade setup right here, right here, right? And then here's uh, the clean divergence. We broke market structure up here. Once we did that, what I did was I came down here um, on the one minute chart and I drew a trade zone right here. And this is essentially what I was looking at uh, for a long right here for a bounce. What did price do? We pulled right back to it um, and then kind of bounced in. Uh, I got two points off it. That's the only trade I did all day long. So that was a quick recap. Um, and then one one other thing is as price kind of rallied, as price rallied, um, we came up to the new weekly open gap, right? Um, and we came about 
uh, I'd say about a point uh, short of it and then reverse. And if we pull up a one minute chart, we could kind of see exactly what happened. Came up, you actually had a little chance if you want to, if you you know, gave yourself a little room to the back of this zone. Um, but again, it didn't work. I personally would not have taken this trade, A, because the time of day was literally like the last maybe 20 minutes of the uh, session. Also, as actually the last five minutes of the session, this pretty much would have invalidated the trade for me also sometimes when you see parabolic move like this um be careful it's a, it just step aside tomorrow's a brand new day uh for trading and then we came all the way up almost to the upper uh trade zone um this one it's probably going to get broken through. This move kind of took out the low, took out the high. Um, market's bullish. And let's kind of go into what I see going on for the market right now. Okay. And let's kind of pull up a 15-minute chart going into uh, the next uh, couple of days. Um, look at this. Just higher highs, higher lows over and over and over, right? Um, the market is trending higher. Uh, if you want, just grab a trend line and draw it here. Um, extend it forward, right? Uh, you're looking right around the 40 probably as time goes on and all that you're looking probably um sideways action maybe all the way up to the 4200 this is essentially the playground that we're playing around in um if we draw one here but it is starting to create a potential rising wedge on the bigger picture right it's getting tighter and tighter even if we go from here to here now okay very tight wedge so be careful we do have a lot of earnings coming out um but again i listen i think um i said in uh, my weekend video a couple weeks ago this market is bullish um will probably be bullish for the month of uh april um so I'm kind of sticking with it. We'll see how earnings come out. We have a lot of earnings. I think that could uh, really shake up the uh, market one way or the other. But even on the upside, I think the upside's cap. And the reason I say that is because if we start to rally too hard, too quick, the Fed might come out and say, hey, we might do 50 basis and bring the market back down. That's what they've been doing for the past year. So hopefully uh, this video helps, guys. Um, let me know if you guys uh, like this format, kind of the review and then an outlook. Um, but for me, I like coming in in the morning, looking at my zones because um, anything can happen overnight, right? I kind of trade during the morning. Um, and also, just so you guys know, I will add zones if you guys see um, if I pull up my main chart, right, I actually added a zone down here um, when we were over here because we had Fibonacci's, a um, couple other things going on. I almost drew this as a trade zone this morning because what this was, was essentially this from this wick and... I, I just felt like if we came down, we would have blown through and retested uh, this level down here. So, but intraday, I actually drew this as a uh, trade zone on my own, drew Fibonacci's so you could see, never came down. And one last thing, I even said in the uh, general chat, right when I was leaving, I don't trust this market one way or the other. Um, I actually said it right here. Um, I'm done for the day. Be safe with this market. I don't trust it either way. And this is exactly what I meant by don't, I, I didn't trust it to the downside. I didn't trust it because we can have a rip your face off rally. It's the market that we're in right now. Um, and, uh, sometimes, uh, it's okay to miss trades and only take one trade. Like I say, you only need one good trade. Um, so essentially for myself on my end, one, missed one, made one um, off that divergence. So 
hopefully that helps. Um, I'll let you guys get back to your day, but uh, hopefully you guys will join. I'll see you guys in uh, Discord if you're not a member yet. Talk to you soon.